Hey guys, this is Spazman13579 here with some HO skill trains I have for sale. These are what was um, left over from the train show I was selling stuff at. So yeah. First of all, here we have a rail box. 50 foot modern box car. I think it's the Berwick style. Sorry for the noise in the background. That's my washing machine. But yeah, it has KD knuckle couplers and it's just brand new out of the package it's um Atherin blue box other than the couplers it's completely stock the door doesn't open on it and yeah this will be shipped to you for eight dollars next is a banger and a roostook uh, a 60 foot modern reefer again Atherin blue box but it does have intermountain metal wheels and um trucks as well as kd couplers as you can see, this is a weather model. I think it came out pretty good. Just like the prototype, it has the um, vertical pieces right there. Those are the only things that rusted on them, or almost the only things that rusted. So yeah. The roof is weathered as well. Not as much as the sides, just like the real picture was. So yeah, this can be $20 shipped to you. Next off we have a Milwaukee Road 50 foot modern box car. This is Atherin Blue Box, but it's the newer Blue Box with the um, wire grab irons. It will focus as you can see right there. And it has the end detailing as well on both sides right there as well again intermountain metal wheels and trucks and KD number five or excuse me there are the whisker couplers the whisker standard head and as you can see it's lightly weathered with the roof weather as well and this can be ten dollars shipped to you this is a real gone 50 foot gondola I believe it was a roundhouse kit, like right before they went out of business or got um, absorbed by another company. But yeah, I, again, as you can see, it's weathered. KD number five couplers, not the whisker. Intermountain metal wheels. I think it came out pretty good. The ends are done as well. I think the bottom is, yep, the bottom's weathered too. And this car is $20 shipped. Here's a X Railbox LUCX 50 foot Berwick box car, again by um, Atherin Blue Box. As you can see, it's patched for LUCX right there. It's not as yellow in real life as it looks on here. I'm not sure why it's so yellow. Again, metal wheels, I think they're intermountain, and whisker couplers. The roof is really heavy on this car, but it is just like the prototype. The prototype did have that heavy weathering of a roof on there like that. On the ends, it is patched, as you can see on top there. And on this side, it has a graffiti tag as it was pictured in the prototype photo. Do a little pan over it here. And this car can be um, $30 shipped to you. Here's another banger in a Roostook 50 foot Berwick boxcar. This time it is a Branch Line Trains kit. They are very, very nicely detailed with the air hoses and wire grab irons around. Lots of separately applied detailing. Again, it's not as orange as this in real life. The camera is just 
making it look like that. The roof is lightly weathered as well, as you can see there. The ends are done. And here's the other side. And this car is $20 shipped to you. And here's a deal, if you want to get both of the Bangor and Aroostu cars, which was the 60-foot um, Modern Reefer and this 50-foot Berwick, it can be $35. So if you want to get both, if you're a Bangor and Aroostu fan, it can be $35 instead of $40 if you want both of them. Here's a very lightly weathered chassis system, 50-foot Berwick boxcar, again by branch line trains. If you're wondering, it's the Blueprint series line of kits. It has KD Whisker couplers and the um, Accurail metal wheels and trucks that are stocked with the kit. Very lightly weathered. The silver on there is not actually silver. The um, camera was picking it up for some reason. I'll have to change out this lighting when I get a chance. Again, the roof is lightly done. The ends are done as well, or at least they're faded down and they're not really weathered that much. And here's the other side. And this car is $10 shipped. Here's one of my favorite cars. Again, it's a 50-foot Berwick car by um, Branch Line Trains. It's an Illinois Central in the all gray scheme with the IC logo. I think this car came out really good. If you're looking for a modern IC box car, this is definitely for you. As you can see it has the graffiti tag right there and there's another little hand style or two of them actually. Again all the grab irons and everything are there. Here's the roof. And the opposite side. On a prototype picture, these were patched out. I don't know why. They were on the opposite side, but they were on this side, so I did that on there. There's another little hand style next to the door. And another patch out right there. The ends all done. as well as the truck or trucks again um, oh no actually this one has the KD scale head whisker couplers and then Intermountain metal wheels and this can be $25 shipped to you here's a CHTT or also a Union Pacific 50 foot modern high cube box car this is made by LBH Company, I think. Excuse me, LBF Company. That's what it's made by. And it's just lightly weathered. One little hand style right there kind of faded out. The trucks are done with the blue um, bearing caps on there. The ends are done. And these have Intermountain Metal Wheels and KD Scale Head whisker couplers. The roof is done as well. And here's the opposite side. The same thing without any graffiti on it. And this car is $12 shipped to you. Here's one locomotive I have for sale. It is a Sioux Line GP40 number 4648. This unit in real life doesn't exist anymore. It does, but it's all chopped up because it was in a wreck in 2008, I believe, on a Canadian Pacific line. It was in a snowy hillside, and the tracks gave out, and it got completely totaled. This is an extremely detailed unit. It looks kind of um, strange, I would say. On top here, for example, you can see all the different colors on the fans. And that's because in the real pictures it was like that, 
it had a couple fans off of different units. One was off of an NS unit, another was off of a another Sioux line unit, but it was in the cherry red paint scheme, and one is original. It has an RS 3L horn, lift rings, and grab irons all around. And it has a beacon, but I'll get to that in a second. The trucks are all done up and everything. Sorry about the tripod there. And so there's a fuel tank. On the back, it has non operating ditch lights. Right there. It has MU cables, and just like in the real picture, there's no numbers back there. And one of the grab irons is actually missing. This was the most recent, or was based off the most recent photo before it was wrecked. Right here, you can see there's a little piece of damage. That was just because it's in the box and that came off, but that can easily be glued back on. And if somebody does buy it, I'll glue that back on before I send it out. It was just in the box like that, and I will fix it. This is a custom painted unit, if anyone's wondering. And as you can see on top, it looks like the dynamic brake housing fan was chopped off. That's because in real life it actually was chopped off. They turned it from a dynamic brake unit into a non-dynamic brake unit by just taking off that fan and putting a piece of metal over it, or in this case it's just a piece of styrene plastic. It's an unpowered unit, so it just rolls around like so. Let's move to the front, there's a lot of detail on here. Grab irons again, sand filler hatch, antenna, uh, strobe light, operating ditch lights, and again before I send it out, I'll paint these black. I just did not get, I didn't get to that, didn't have time to. It has a uh, special KD extended coupler so that it can surpass the uh, snowplow up there. It's a metal cast uh, snowplow. And yeah. Just like in real life, the door is painted a glossier red, the marker lights were patched out with a glossy red. This is just really based off of the prototype unit. It's a really good engine in my opinion. Now here's the best part about this unit. I'm going to turn the lights off real quick and show you. You can see that it has operating ditch lights, and operating top lights, and an actual flashing strobe light. This runs off of a double A battery inside the unit and there is a end of train device circuit going to this. So it flashes like an end of train device did, but the EOTDs flash the same exact way that the um beacons do. They flash the same way. These are controlled by two switches on the bottom of the unit. This top one is for lights, as you can see by the L decal right there, and this one's for beacon. So if you turn that off, the beacon light turns off, and then you can also turn the lights off by just flipping this switch, and now they're off. It is a really detailed unit, and I'm selling it for $35 if anybody wants it. I put a lot more than $35 into this thing. But I've had it for a couple of years now. And I've been wanting to get rid of it because I have no real use for it. So hopefully somebody else has use for it. And if so, $35 shipped, I think it's a pretty good deal. The last two things I have for you guys are actually in a package together. So these two cars are just together if you buy it you'll get both of them this is a Walther's air slide covered hopper kit I will include trucks and wheels with it if somebody does buy it as you can see it's just faded down white not really too much done to it so yeah there's that and there's also if I move that out of the way a blueprint series car and this is a chassis system 50 foot double door box car it has everything in the um, kit here I just gone part way through building it and then decided 
I didn't really want it. it I just didn't really care for Chessy that much. I didn't want to get rid of it. But yeah, it's a full kit. The roof is right back there. It has the weights in it. It has everything. I just didn't really want to put it together. Both of these cars together are $8 shipped. So you can get two full cars that just aren't weathered or anything or don't have KD couplers. They have the um, Easy Mate couplers in there in the Chessie car. The other one has no couplers. But if you want, I can put Easy Mate couplers on it. So again, these two guys are only $8 shipped and you get both of them. If you have any questions or if you want to have some actual pictures of the cars, then you can email me. You can just personal message me, I'll give you my email and I'll send some pictures out to you, some higher quality photos. But yeah, and another thing is if you want to kind of try to make a deal with me, if you want to buy like three or four cars and get it for a cheaper price, that can be fine. We can work something out. If you want to get anything, just send me a personal message and I can tell you how to buy these. I'll, you can give me your um, address and stuff and all that nice stuff. So thank you for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it.